Namaste yogis, welcome to your hip flexibility flow. Um, today will be less of a flow actually, it'll be more of a yin practice. So we'll stay in the poses for about two to three minutes each so that we can get the full benefit of the pose and we can really allow our muscles to release and relax in the poses. Um, the only thing you really need for today's class is maybe a few pillows, just something to make yourself comfortable as you're laying in these poses. So we'll get started. You can come roll down onto your back. Make sure you have your pillows somewhere close in reach so you can grab them whenever you need them. Roll all the way down. Just for now, hug your knees into your chest. Give them a good squeeze in. See if you can keep your hips down. Release your shoulders down onto the floor. We're just doing a little stretch of the spine here before we go into the hips. Two more breaths. See if you can allow your chest to relax, the muscles of your face. And then gently release your feet back down. From here, bring the soles of the feet together, part your knees. And then this is where the pillows will come into handy. If you notice that you have quite a bit of space between you and the floor, take a pillow, prop it underneath your knee, do the same on the other side. And most likely you'll notice that one hip is a little bit more open than the other one. So maybe one knee is a little bit higher off the floor than the other one. It's very normal. Once the pillows are in a comfortable position, just bring the arms along the body, tuck your shoulder blades under, and then gently close your eyes. Take a moment here to just scan your body. Notice all the different sensations that you feel. If you feel any sort of tightness in the hips, see if you can guide your breath towards it. And then I invite you to gently deepen the breath. See if you could also balance out the inhales and the exhales. In other words, you're trying to make them as long as one another. So the inhale is just as long as, as, and as deep as the exhale is. Notice how calming down the breath actually helps you to get deeper into the pose. Taking deep breaths signals to your nervous system and your muscles that are safe to relax. So it's much more effective and quicker to work with the breath here as you're, as the body's in the pose, you work with the breath. From the moment that you notice that you no longer feel a stretch, maybe place the pillows a little bit further away from you so that you can go a little bit deeper into it. And just like that, you slowly work your way down. And maybe your knees will not reach the floor yet today. That's very, very possible. But over time, we can work towards that. Staying for about another minute and a half or so. And while you're laying here, try as much as possible to stay present. Stay mindful of your body and your breath. If you notice your mind wandering off, just with a lot of gentleness and love, bring the attention back inwards. Know that it's very, very normal, definitely at first, to have your mind kind of wandering off in all directions. You don't have to chase it. You don't have to worry about not doing it right, so to say. Just every time that you notice yourself getting caught in a thought, just bring the attention back to your breath. And the longer you practice this, the longer the intervals will be in between the thoughts. So the more time you'll have 
in between with just silence, presence. Again, from the moment that you notice you're no longer feeling the stretch, just move your pillows a bit further away from you, out to the side. to assist the body to go deeper into the stretch. About 30 more seconds. Five more deep breaths. Last deep breath in and out. And then bring your hands to the outsides of the thighs, guide your legs back together. Bring your pillows back to the side. Make sure they're out of the way. Hug your knees back into your chest. Give them a good squeeze in. Two breaths here. And on the next exhale, gently place your feet back down. Make sure your legs are together so the feet are touching. Walk your hips a little bit over towards the right side so that you come onto the outside edges of the left hip and then bring your knees over towards the left. We're coming into a spinal twist. Extend the arms out sideways. If you don't have the space to fully extend the arms, just bring the arms at a 90 degree angle with the fingertips pointing away. And then you wanna make sure that both shoulders are connected to the floor. A lot of times you'll notice the right shoulder here kind of lifting away from the floor to correct this. You walk both shoulders over to the left side so that your right shoulder can come down. And then as long as it feels good for the upper back and the neck, you can look over the right shoulder. Now you have two modifications in this pose, or two options, I should say. This is option one, the one that we're in right now. Option two, if you want to take it further, just cross the upper thighs. So the top leg will come underneath the bottom one, crossing the thighs. This will take you a little bit deeper here in the stretch. And this is a very good overall body stretch. So we're not just stretching the spine, but also the outside of the hip here, the chest and the shoulders. Again, you could use your pillows here, maybe bring them underneath your knees or in between the legs if that makes the pose a bit more comfortable to you. Once you're comfortable, try to move as little as possible. Bring the attention to your spine and see if you can allow the muscles that run alongside the spine to relax. Now bring the awareness down to the inner thighs. Allow the inner thighs to melt in towards one another. And then bring the attention to the outer hips, the outside edges of the thighs. Allow those to soften as well. And just like that, you work your way through the whole body, just stopping at each part of the body, allowing it to relax and release before you move on to the next one. So check your knees, your calves, your heels, your feet and your toes. And then once the lower body is fully relaxed, bring your way up 
the spine towards your chest, shoulders, neck, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. See if you could even relax the muscles of your face. So release any tension that you might be holding on to in the jaw, the muscles around your mouth, muscles around your eyes. Imagine your eyeballs becoming heavy and sinking into their sockets. Relax the muscles in between the eyebrows, the muscles of your forehead. And then just allow your whole skull to soften. You could even imagine your brain softening. About 30 more seconds. Last three breaths. And then very gently bring the feet back to the middle. Take your time. If you have your legs crossed, don't cross them. From here, bring your knees back into your chest. And just to neutralize the body a little bit here. Wrap your arms around your legs, pull them in. Notice if you can feel a difference between the right side and the left side of the body. Allow the back of the spine to ground down into your mat. And then on the exhale, place your feet back down. Moving over to the other side, walk your hips to the left, bring the knees over to the right, fully extend the arms out again, or if you're lacking in space here, just bring the arms at a 90 degree angle. Again, if you notice the left shoulder peeling off of the floor, you walk the shoulders over towards the right side so that your left shoulder can come down. This time you look over the left shoulder as long as that feels okay for the upper back and the neck. If that doesn't feel good, you have the option to look up towards the ceiling or over to the right side. But if the neck is fine, you can look over the left shoulder. And then this is option one. Option two, if you want to take it further, cross the upper thighs, so cross the legs. Again, you could make use of your pillows, place them underneath your knees if you're in option two, or in between your legs if you're in option one. Gently close your eyes. Again, once you're quite comfortable in the pose, imagine that your whole body is becoming super heavy. It's just melting down into the floor. For the next two minutes or so, try to move your body as little as possible. This will help you to go way deeper into the pose. Again, breathing down towards the base of the spine. Signaling your nervous system and your muscles that it is safe to release and to relax. And if you want to, you could do the body scan that we did on the other side as well. If you find that that helps you to release all the tension that you're holding on to in the body. Maybe this time you could start from your toes, work your way all the way up until the crown of the head. Uh, 
is to stay aware of whatever emotions you feel or maybe you could sense your mood shifting and a lot of these deeper opening poses it is possible for some emotions to flare up So whatever you feel here, whether it's good or whether it's uncomfortable, see if you can breathe through it. And by uncomfortable, I mean uncomfortable emotions. You don't want to feel per se uncomfortable in the stretch itself. If the stretch is hurting, then just come out of it. Maybe use more pillows to prop yourself up. The stretch itself on a physical level should feel pleasant. But sometimes, as I said, stored emotions can come up. And that might cause a little bit of discomfort. Last 30 seconds. Two more deep breaths. And then from here, gently bring your legs back to the center. Again, as always, feel free to take your time here and move as slow as feels good to you. If you've used any pillows, put them off back to the side and then bring the knees back into your chest. Give them a good squeeze in. See if you can breathe down towards your lower back. Allow your shoulders to remain heavy onto the floor. Your next exhale, just extend your left leg, bring it out onto your mat. Keep your right knee in. Interlace your fingers, take hold of your knee, and then pull the right knee in towards you. Once you're here, allow the shoulders to ground down. Make sure that you walk the shoulder blades in towards one another so that your chest remains fairly open. Now we have two different options again. This is your option one. If you feel already quite a good stretch at the back of the leg and the hip, you could stay here. If you want to take it a little bit further, all you will do is you'll take hold of the sole of the foot and then you flip your foot up towards the ceiling. And then from here, very gently, you push the sole of the foot down towards you so that your knee comes closer to your chest. Again, once you're in the pose, see if you can relax the backs of the shoulders. And we'll stay here for a little bit again. If you're quite flexible, this can be quite relaxing. If you're not quite flexible and it's hard to reach your foot, a little option is to just hold onto the lower leg and pull it in that way. You just want to kind of modify the poses so that you can relax as much as possible. This time, bring your breath towards the back of the right thigh. Notice any tension that you might feel in the muscles. And then guide your breath towards them. You could imagine the breath softening any spots of tension. another minute. Then just notice whatever comes up for you. See if you can breathe through it, allowing it to pass. So 
five more deep breaths. Last little breath cycle. And then gently bring your heel back towards your hip. Bring the right knee and come back to option one if you're in option two. And then release. Place your right leg down onto the floor. Bring your left knee in. Interlace your fingers. Pull your knee in towards you. Again, see if you can tuck your shoulder blades under to keep your chest open and relaxed. We'll stay together in option one for just a little bit. And while you're working on relaxation in your left leg and your left hip, make sure that your right leg is relaxed as well. So you can allow your right toes to kind of fall out to the side so that the front of the right thigh can release as well. And if you want to come up to option two, so either take hold of the sole of the foot, flip the foot up, if this is um, too uncomfortable for you, you have to reach too much. Just kind of wrap your arms around your lower leg and pull it in, or your upper leg, I should say, and pull it in that way. We have about a minute and a half more to go. Try as much as you can to keep your left knee aligned with your left shoulder here. So don't bring the knee out too much to the side. It's not per se wrong. You're not gonna hurt yourself by doing that, but it's not the stretch that we're targeting right now. Another minute. Last five deep breaths. Last deep inhale, and on the exhale, bring your left knee back in, come to option one first, and then release. Fully extend the body, bring the arms overhead, go for a big stretch here. And on the exhale, bring the knees in, take hold of the backs of the thighs, and roll up to a seated position. Make sure you have your um, cushions somewhere close by. You'll need one for this one. So we'll start by bringing the left foot out next to the left hip. You wanna make sure that the sole of the foot is pointing up towards the ceiling and the rotation here is coming from the hip, not from the knee. So to ensure that, what you could do is actually take hold of your thigh and roll it inwards towards the midline. You could take the flesh from underneath and kind of pull it up uh, through the back here. From here, take your pillow. For now, just place it um, under your knee. You can keep your uh, right leg extended, push your hips under, and then gently come down onto your elbows first. You could stay here for a while. This is your option one. Again, if this is too intense, take a second cushion, place it underneath your knee. See how that feels. This is option one. Option two, come all the way down onto your back. 
Now, once you feel like there's no longer a stretch here at the front of the left thigh, you can kick your pillow to the side so that then you can come all the way down to the floor. But we'll start with the pillow underneath just to give our body some time to adjust to the stretch and release the muscles that we're trying to release. Again, bring the arms alongside the body, tuck your shoulder blades under, and then close your eyes again. See if you can breathe towards the front of the left thigh here. And then while you're here, check the other parts of the body, see if they're holding on to any tension. Again, with the right leg here, you can allow the right um, foot to fall out to the side, so the right toes point out. And definitely make sure that you're relaxing your jaw here. So if you want to, you can always um, gently crack open your mouth, allow your jaw to hang heavy, so the jaw will kind of move down towards your throat, and then just close your lips again. So you want to have space between your two rows of teeth, the bottom and the upper one. Again, from the moment that you feel like you no longer need a pillow, just take that pillow, put it out to the side. Try as much as possible to keep your hips tucked under. About 30 more seconds. Again, every single time that you notice your thoughts wandering off, with love, guide yourself back to the present moment. two deep breaths and then from here if you're in option two bring the elbows alongside the body push yourself up to option one and then come out of the pose from here take one maybe two pillows again we'll do the same thing on the other side so bring your right foot out to the side right heel next to the right hip again the sole of the foot is pointing up towards the ceiling so the foot is under you want to rotate from the thigh so you could take hold of the thigh again and again you roll it in towards the midline of your body from here take your pillow place it underneath your right knee and then gently come down to option one again make sure here that you tuck your hips under so you don't want to be here with an arched low back you want to scoot your booty under this is option one again you could take more pillows if you feel like you need more pillows option two a little bit deeper come all the way down again tucking your shoulder blades under opening the chest arms are alongside the body palms faced up and then take a moment to check in see if you're holding on to tension anywhere allow your left leg to fully relax And bring your awareness to wherever you feel the stretch the most. Using your breath to release those muscles. Again, notice if you're holding on to tension anywhere else in the body. 
any place unrelated to the stretch. Keep your awareness with your breath. Again, if you notice your mind wandering off into thoughts, very gently bring your awareness back to the present moment. One more minute. Five more deep breaths. Allow your whole body to sink down here. Last breath in and out. And then gently make your way back up. Place your Pillows to the side if you've used them. Bring the legs out in front of you. We're not going to stay very long in this one, but we do want to counterbalance that one a little bit. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold. Take hold of whatever you can hold on to, whether it's the thighs, the shins, the ankles, the toes. Allow your head to hang heavy. Three more deep breaths. Last breath in and out. And then gently come back up. All right, guys, that was it for today's hip flexibility class. I hope your hips feel very soft and flexible. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next class. Know that I do accept requests, so if there's any type of class that you want to see in the future, then just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to um, get onto it and make it. I will see you guys in the next week. Bye. Namaste.